Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Yeah, I forgot to get the camera out yesterday, but we got the back wall made. Uh, run into a snag with the, the door. I miscalculated and it was too tall. <clears throat> so we had to shorten it. Got that taken care of. Um, it'll make it nice the little kids won't have to reach too high for the doorknob. <laughs> Anyways, we got the walls mounted and I'm working on making the roof trusses. I've got a couple of pieces uh, cut out and um, got them gonna make like a truss so I got to put a piece across here and then one from the middle down. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at now. I got the uh, pieces all down in the garage ready to cut the notches out and the angles on them. Um, that's some wood from my sawmill. It's about an inch and a quarter thick. It's nice and lightweight so we want to keep that roof as light as we can and still be strong. So I ripped them, uh, I think they're three inches wide and about five feet long. So I ripped them on the table saw out of some miter boards. Cut the angles on the miter saw and cut the notch out with the band saw. So I got everything set up down there uh, working on that. So I'll uh, show you one of the completed trusses when I get it completely figured out. Okay, got all the parts cut out for the roof trusses and I got a little jig set up here on the back deck of the thing. Probably when I was about Aaron's age I helped my dad build a building the head trusses and this is how we made our trusses because at that time you I guess you could buy them, but it took forever and they were real expensive. And Anyways, we made our own. And we made a jig to set all the pieces in to hold them in place. And then nailed them. So I got some temporary cleats down. I'll lift this one piece out, you can see. So you just lay the piece back in. Not easy with one hand as it looks. <laughs> there we go. Lay it in there, and then we've got. Uh, let me come over here to the truck. I didn't get any of these out. Okay, I got these little plywood pieces, and they're going to go at each joint. Uh, what did I figure? Oh, right there, probably. Each one of them will go on each one of those joints and we'll nail them in. First side I'm going to nail with uh, these little ring nails. They're just the right length. And the other side, yesterday, had some yard sales around and I bought this about a third of a box of nails for two bucks and they're going to be just right for the other side so we're going to get started on it okay I got the four pieces nailed on now we can just lift it out of here and we'll turn it over this side and we'll put the other four right on there and nail them on. And we just got to do that uh, well, about half a dozen more times. So we're going to get that done. See you in a bit. Okay, the trestles are done. Got the jig all tore off the deck. I think next I'm going to work on the uh, I don't know what you call it, top plate I guess get that all tied together and that'll be the uh, extend out here on the 
on the deck for the support for the roof when it when it opens up. So I think that'll be my next move. We got that top plate on and extends out the back for the roof to roll out the back on. It looks chintzy, but it seems plenty strong. I mean it's only gonna be when the roof's open, which isn't gonna be most of the time, so and we'll have another set of braces coming from the building back up too once uh, we get the metal siding and stuff on. So she's coming. Okay, I got some flashing and I got it mounted on the beams that are going to be part of the roof framework. And got to put it all together in place and then put the trusses on it. I was thinking I was going to build it all on the ground and uh, put it up there but I think it's going to be pretty difficult to get up in place without damaging some of this flashing. It's kind of kind of fragile so I come up with a different plan. I'm going to try to build it in place. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. This may all change before it's over. You never know. Got the framework that the trusses are going to mount on that rolls in place and it seems to work. I do have, uh, I'm going to have to put a little bit of track on this back piece back here, but it's good enough so I could try it out. The flashing worked out good. There's one inside and the outside one overlaps. Um, I think you can see it right there probably. And let me go inside and show you. Okay, this is what the wheel deal looks like. And Aaron slide it a little bit more. Go a little more. It'll, that, whoop, that's about where it goes right there. So then this is all open. All right. So we're making more progress. Imagine that. Aaron thinks we need to end this part right here. Um, so I guess this is going to be part two. So if you liked it so far, give me a thumbs up and. Uh, Please subscribe. See you next time.